Welcome back to AM Northwest. All right, it is a Tex-Mex crowd pleaser, and it's something that you can whip up tonight. Here to share his delicious recipe, we welcome back the co-author of Fire and Wine, Sean Martin. Good to see you here. Oh, Give I'm me so a hug. excited to be here. Okay, now Mary Kressler, your wife, yeah. your wonderful wife, is yeah. not here, so it's just, I don't know how you're going to do this. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to have to hold my own here. <laughs> Usually I can kind of skate to the side. Yeah, I just kind of hide. Yeah. Okay, so this looks stunning. Thank Tell you. me about it. All right, so we're doing a flank steak, flank steak. tequila marinated fajita. Oh. Now say that seven times really tequila fast. Tequila marinated fajita. Fajita. After uh, having a few of these, I probably couldn't say that. Exactly. So. Okay. We were going to bring the big bottle, but we thought we'd Porsche control today. <laughs> okay, thank you. So yeah, we wanted to bring a little bit more flavor to uh, fajita by doing a beef marinade, and okay. then we're going to soften the veggies, and we're going to have this delicious fajita. I love it. Okay, let's do it. Let's start you with You tell me marinade. what to do. Okay. Yes, so we're going to start by marinating our flank steak. So okay. we're going to put our liquids in first. We're going right. to start with a little bit of tequila. Tequila. Feel free to pour that whole thing right in oh, there. Okay. Yes. A little bit of, for me? Yep, or? a little bit, exactly. A little bit okay. for the chef. A little bit for the chef. Now this adds a nice base. You can use bourbon, you can use whiskey. Well, we like that unique flavor that the tequila brings. Soy, Soy sauce, sauce. For a little umami flavor. Okay. Oil to help emulsify, so we're going to mix that up a little bit. Uh, uh, olive oil? Uh, that's extra virgin olive oil, correct. Okay. We're going to go uh, just a touch of salt and pepper, just a little bit, because we're going to actually season the steak after the marinade. Okay. Shallots to give that little bite and acid flavor. Gotcha. Garlic, the smallest oh, pieces of garlic on the planet, but yeah. they'll work. Okay. This is going to add that little Why are flavor. they small, did you? I didn't get the big ones. Gotcha. Yeah, that okay. was chef error. And then we're going to squeeze some uh, lime in there. The okay. limes add some additional acidity and really great with a beef marinade, especially okay. with something like this. All right. Let me put both of them yes, in. Yes, get okay. both of them in there. All righty. So what I like to do is I like to mix it up a little bit with my hands uh -huh. just to get that emulsified a little bit. You can use a oh, whisk sure. as well. We're using this bowl as kind of a safety catch so that we don't oh, lose Oh, good idea. Juices. Good idea. And we're going to take a flank steak and we're just, just going to put the that whole, right in the bag. Okay. Exactly. I don't cut it up first. I just put it in nope. all like that. Exactly. So we haven't seasoned it yet because we're going to marinate it for about two hours. Okay. Then we're going to take it out. The reason we want two hours is because with beef, you don't want to lose the beefy flavor. Right. So if you go overnight with a marinade, it's going to start to get tough and you're going to taste only the marinade and not oh, the beef. Oh, good point. Right? That's a good point. Okay. So put this in the fridge, yes, in the bowl, sir. just like this. Okay. Two hours. Two hours. Let's pretend we just did that. Got it. Now we're going to take I'm it out. I'm good at pretending. Yeah, got it. Okay. We're going to lift that back out with the tongs. You bet. We're going to season that up with the salt and pepper again. Okay. So if we had seasoned that first, all that seasoning comes off. Oh, for sure. Okay. Right? Yeah. So we season it, and we're going to get it right onto a hot pan. Okay. You want to season it on both sides, both right? Both sides. Now, we typically grill this. So if we're grilling it, we're having it set up with direct heat. That's where the fire is right underneath. Right. In this case, we've got a really hot pan, and you're going to throw that right on top. Yeah! That there we go! There it is. I didn't even have to fake it. There we go! I love it. So we're going hot and fast with the flank steak. That's how I live my life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get some tequila. <laughs> yeah, so sure. now that we're going to have this grilling, and yeah. we're about five minutes per side, Okay. we're going to work on the softened vegetables. Yes. So here we have a collection of peppers and onions. So if you want to cut up that red pepper... Sure. I'm putting a little oil in another hot pan. We love using cast iron. And okay. all we need to do is soften the veggies. We're not really like browning them. So you can just fill that pan all the way up. Okay. So we got the onions, we got peppers. You can go with different color peppers to give it that little color look. We love yellow pepper, the red pepper, a little bit of green pepper as well. Oh yeah. And you know, when you, uh, when you please the eye with this kind of a dish, it makes all the difference, I think. Like yeah. it looks good, it looks so appetizing. Well, that's what I've learned from Mary. As a photographer and food stylist, one of the things that she realizes is you look first with the eye and then yeah. you smell and then you taste. Oh, absolutely, she's right. right. Now remember, always remember that. Mary, yeah. you are right. You are right, Mary, mm -hmm. you are right. You're right. Mm -hmm. And so we're softening these. You want me to put these in there? Yeah, or, throw them okay. right in. Okay. So about five to six minutes. So in addition to them browning slightly, they're going to steam because of the crowded pan. So if this is mushrooms, we wouldn't do this. And we just want them softened, right? So this is softening up. Okay. At this point, we're flipping the steak. Oh, that looks good. Yes. Yeah. See? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Now the secret to these, you keep flipping it back and forth, back and forth, so that you cook evenly on both sides. Okay. Till your desired internal temperature. For us, yes. we like rare, medium, rare. Okay. And then we Which have... Which is what on your... About 130 degrees. Oh, oh, temperature. okay. 
and then carryover cooking happens when it rests, so it keeps right. cooking a few degrees. Okay. Then you slice into it. Okay. And when you okay. slice into it, you have this beautiful pink center. Look at that. Exterior cooked. So now we have to try it. Okay. So we've got a little bit of flour street tortillas. Mm -hmm. We like to just throw them over the fire a little bit, just to get them a little brown action. These have been pre-done. Okay. And this oh, is, so I should I can try this? Yeah, you can okay. try that. We've right. got the veggies, we've got the flank steak, we've got a little salsa, jalapeno if you like. Okay. So just feel free to you help yourself. You put one yourself. together so I can yes. watch how you do it, so right. I can kind of follow your lead. I like to start with the steak. Yeah. Uh, that's a little more, I'll oh, just go for it. Then I like to add a little bit of salsa, mm -hmm. sour cream. Look at that. There Cilantro. we go. Cilantro. Cilantro, sour cream. And I'm gonna avoid the jalapeno. So if you want to try my, well, cream. I'll try yours. And thank you for avoiding the yeah. jalapeno. You're it's welcome. greatly appreciated. I've learned. <laughs> and Mary's always right. Mary is always right. So I'm gonna okay. make the second one. Okay. But this is great for like a family bar. You can just oh, set all yeah. the stuff out. People can make themselves. Add a little bit of rice, a little refried beans, or your favorite sides. That's perfect. Get mm -hmm. a little bit of that tequila flavor uh -huh. in there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it's not too strong. And like I said, you can swap out tequila for really any brown or darker color liquor. Right. Uh, and it just adds that nice little backbone. Oh, this is excellent. So we're going to put the recipe on our website at k2.com. The book, again, is called Fire and Wine. A shout out to Mary Kressler, who is always right. Thank you, Sean. Great job. Great job without the Thank wife. You. Good work. Good work. Woo. All right, we'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away.